Ever wondered how important it is to understand economic indicators for stock market investments? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. Economic indicators are a crucial component of the financial world. They provide us with a snapshot of a country's economic health and in turn, influence the stock market impacting your investments. Imagine these indicators as a compass. They don't predict the future, but they do give you a sense of direction. They help you navigate the often tumultuous waters of the stock market, making your investment journey a bit smoother. In this video, we'll delve into three key indicators that every investor should have on their radar. Gross Domestic Product or GDP, Inflation and Unemployment Rates. Understanding these indicators can help you make more informed decisions and potentially maximize your returns. So buckle up as we delve into the first economic indicator, Gross Domestic Product or GDP. What exactly is GDP and why should an investor care about it? Well, let's break it down. GDP or gross domestic product is the total economic output of a country. It's the sum of all goods and services produced over a specific period, usually a year. In simpler terms, think of it as the country's annual income. Why is this important? GDP is a vital sign of a country's economic health. A rising GDP indicates economic growth, which is usually accompanied by increased corporate profits. More profits mean more potential for dividend payouts or reinvestment into the business, both of which can drive up stock prices. On the other hand, a falling GDP can be a sign of economic contraction or even recession. In these cases, corporate earnings may take a hit, and investor confidence can wane. This can lead to a decrease in stock prices as investors become more risk-averse and pull back from the market. But it's not just about the numbers, the rate of GDP growth also matters. If GDP grows too quickly, it could lead to inflation, which we'll talk about in the next scene. But for now, let's stick to GDP. GDP growth that's too slow or negative for an extended period can signal a stagnating or shrinking economy. This lack of growth can dampen investor confidence, leading to lower stock prices. So you see, GDP and the stock market are closely linked. They're like dance partners moving in sync with each other. When GDP goes up, stocks often follow suit, and when GDP goes down, stocks typically do the same. As an investor, understanding GDP can give you a better grasp of the broader economic picture. This can help you make more informed decisions about when to buy or sell stocks, based on the overall health of the economy. To sum it up, GDP is a powerful economic indicator that can provide valuable insights into the potential performance of the stock market. It's a tool that, when used correctly, can help you navigate the often turbulent waters of investing. Next, we will unravel the mysteries of inflation and its role in the stock market. Inflation, a term frequently tossed around in economic discussions, but how does it affect your stocks? In essence, inflation represents a rise in the general level of prices for goods and services over a certain period of time. It's the reason why a cup of coffee that cost a dime 50 years ago now costs more than $2. As inflation rises, every dollar you own buys a smaller percentage of a good or service. This is what we call the erosion of purchasing power. But what has this got to do with stocks? Well, when inflation is on the rise, it doesn't just affect the cost of your morning latte. It also impacts interest rates. Central banks often respond to high inflation by hiking up interest rates. This makes borrowing more expensive and can put the brakes on economic growth. Now imagine you're a business. If your borrowing costs go up, your profit margins may shrink. This can lead to lower earnings, which are often a key driver of stock prices. So when inflation heats up, stock prices may feel the chill. However, it's not always a clear-cut relationship. Some companies can pass on their increased costs to consumers, maintaining their profit margins despite inflation. Plus, not all sectors of the economy react to inflation in the same way. For example, sectors like utilities and real estate can often weather inflation better than others. Moreover, a certain level of inflation is not only normal but necessary for a healthy economy. It's when inflation levels become unexpectedly high or low that the stock market can get jittery. So as an investor, it's important to keep an eye on inflation trends and how they might impact different sectors of the stock market. And remember, while inflation can influence stock prices, it's just one of many factors at play. Now that we've got inflation covered, let's move on to our third indicator, unemployment rates. How can unemployment rates, something seemingly unrelated, impact the stock market? That's the question we're going to answer in this segment. Let's start by defining what unemployment rates are. 
Simply put, it's the percentage of the total labor force that is jobless but is actively seeking employment and willing to work. Unemployment rates serve as a key indicator of economic health. When the economy is thriving, businesses are likely to hire more employees to meet the increased demand for their goods or services, leading to lower unemployment rates. Conversely, in a struggling economy, businesses may lay off workers to cut costs, resulting in higher unemployment rates. But how does this affect the stock market? Well, the link is consumer spending. A high employment rate means more people are earning wages and therefore more money is available to be spent. This increased consumer spending can boost corporate profits, leading to higher stock prices. On the other hand, high unemployment rates usually indicate a sluggish economy. When people are out of work, they have less money to spend and consumer spending declines. This can lead to decreased corporate profits which may cause stock prices to fall. However, it's important to note that the relationship between unemployment and stock prices isn't always straightforward. Other factors such as government policies and global events can also influence the market. Furthermore, not all sectors are affected by unemployment rates in the same way. For instance, luxury goods companies may see a significant drop in sales during periods of high unemployment, while discount retailers may experience an increase as consumers seek to save money. In conclusion, unemployment rates can provide valuable insight into the overall economic health and consumer spending trends, which can influence stock prices. Therefore, savvy investors often keep an eye on this economic indicator to make more informed decisions. With all three economic indicators explained, let's wrap up with a quick summary. So how do all these economic indicators come together to paint a picture of the stock market? Let's take a step back and summarize what we've learned today. First, we talked about the Gross Domestic Product or GDP. This is the total value of all goods and services produced in a country over a certain period. It's a measure of economic activity and it's often used as an indicator of a country's economic health. When GDP is on the rise, businesses are likely doing well. This can lead to increased earnings which can positively impact stock prices. Conversely, when GDP is slowing or shrinking, it could signal a slowdown or recession which can negatively impact stock prices. Next, we dove into inflation. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising, and subsequently, purchasing power is falling. Central banks attempt to limit inflation and avoid deflation in order to keep the economy running smoothly. Remember, moderate inflation is normal and even healthy for an economy, but high inflation can erode purchasing power and eat into corporate profit margins potentially leading to lower stock prices. On the other hand, deflation can lead to decreased consumer spending, which can hurt businesses and by extension their stock prices. Then, we unraveled the mystery of unemployment rates. This is the percentage of the labor force that is jobless and actively seeking employment. The unemployment rate is a lagging indicator meaning it responds, or lags, after the economy has already begun to follow a particular trend. When more people are employed, there's typically more money being spent, which can stimulate the economy and boost stock prices. But when unemployment rates are high, consumer spending typically drops, which can lead to lower stock prices. But here's the kicker. These indicators do not operate in isolation. They're all interconnected and can influence each other in various ways. For example, when GDP is growing, companies are likely hiring more employees, which can decrease unemployment rates. Or if inflation is high and eroding purchasing power, consumers might start to spend less, which can slow GDP growth and potentially lead to increased unemployment. And these changes in turn can all impact the stock market. This is why it's important to consider these economic indicators as part of a larger, more complex puzzle. They provide valuable insight into the overall health of an economy and can help you anticipate potential shifts in the stock market. But remember, they're just one piece of the investment puzzle. Other factors such as company fundamentals, industry trends and geopolitical events can also influence stock prices. Understanding these economic indicators equips you as an investor with the knowledge to make more informed decisions. So keep an eye on these indicators and happy investing.